What is time space? Well, that's an interesting question, and how, how far does it reach? Well, there's a better word, actually, that we use for time space, uh, because that's, that's a relatively limited word. The word we use for time space is, do you want to write this, Linda, because Calder's handwriting is terrible. It's a very simple word. I'm going to ask you to feel into it for a moment. Don't think too much about it, but it's a simple word. Bon. B-O-N. Bon. B-O-N. One word? What? <laughs> That's one word? Well, you could also make it two words. Be on. <laughs> Never thought of that before. She, see how brilliant she is? She perceives it as two words. Be on. I know it's bon. Bon. B-O-N. Bon. Bon. B. O N. I guess it could be. Beyond. Beyond. But it's Bon. Bon is is probably Bon would be like a hologram, like a, a, a fabric, but not a physical fabric, like the hologram that is uh, prevalent everywhere where consciousness goes. It is a way of consciousness of perceiving and experiencing itself. It is a hologram onto which the consciousness is able to see, feel, experience, not see with the eyes, but feel, experience, to know itself. That is the core of everything in all of creation. It's not a, a substance. It's not. A, it's not measurable by anything in, in current science. Uh, scientists don't really eh, – they don't even know about it. But to help you to understand, at the core is Bon, and that creates, then, what your scientists do know a little bit about, plasma. Plasma. Not plasma as in blood, but plasma as in that substance that is the most – you realize plasma is the most prevalent substance of anything in the universe. But very, very little is really uh, discussed or known about it. Uh, a dark hole is basically um, – and this is where Calder get, gets nervous, because uh, he's not a physicist by any means – but a dark hole is basically highly, highly, highly condensed plasma. Uh, so from Bon comes Plasma. From plasma comes things like uh, the, the ions, the, the, the way uh, neutrons and protons and atoms and everything else works. But Bon is at the very, very core of it. You could say that Bon is the time-space, uh, but it is more than just time-space as that you know as humans, time-space uh, both being linear. Bon is, uh, is the is kind of like the stage for consciousness, or the, the, per, the screen for consciousness on which to play. Bon, or time-space, exists in all realms. Uh, you have this thing called time-space that is pretty unique to the, the human journey, but if you go into another dimension, there is a form of time-space. It has to be. Uh, but it's bond. It's not time as in the, the watch and space like as in a size. It's simply a, a parameter, a variable that is there to serve consciousness. See, because consciousness does not create, uh, is not energy. Consciousness is not physical reality. Consciousness chooses to have something core something uh, which to experience itself. Your greatest experience here on Earth is time-space. That allows you to do everything you're doing, time-space and gravity. So Bon exists everywhere where consciousness journeys and experiences. It, it, it changes from dimension to dimension, in a way. It, it's the its effect. It's uh, the way it um, it allows consciousness to experience is different, but the, uh, the basic element is still there. So it could be said, in a way, 
that a form of time-space exists in all the dimensions, but not necessarily in the same fashion that it exists here. A form of gravity or suction or uh, attraction exists in all dimensions, but in a different flavor than what you have here. But let me go back to the main point, the point of today's gathering, is that time and space, Bon, is moving through you. It is serving you. You are not, you are not serving time space. It serves you. Question. Uh, would you mind, let's do the microphone so everybody in the universe can hear you. So, quick question, and, and I will entertain questions up to a point, uh, okay. because there are a lot of questions. Will so, be. Yes. So then, energy would be nothing more than a perception. Uh, yeah, en energy is, is a perception, but a very, very real. Energy is a form of bond that is serving you. Uh, you could say, and again, here it gets a little tricky, but you could say that bond uh, is what some would call a unified energy field. But there are some misunderstandings about it. There is the field, the, the, the reservoir that's right here and everywhere, of energy potential that is in an absolutely neutral state. It has no positive or negative charge to it. It is waiting for consciousness to activate it. It is waiting then to uh, turn into uh, activated energy, positive or negative energy. It is waiting to turn into plasma. It is waiting for the activation uh, ultimately into atoms and molecules and everything else in your reality that is, uh, that is uh, enabled by gravity. Gravity, once again, being time and space. Uh, uh, let me demonstrate one more thing while we're talking. The time-space field, uh, the time-space element, is, is kind of like a funnel, uh, or for those who know what a venturi is, a venturi dealing with fluid dynamics. Basically, if you have, uh, basically if you have fluid flowing through a vessel, and that vessel then is constricted at a point, uh, and then uh, opens up again at a point. There is a, a flow of a fluid. There is an amount of pressure. There, there is time and space in here. This is called a uh, venturi. It, it deals with liquids, but it could be applied uh, to other things. As it flows through here and it, it, it becomes constricted, what happens? It speeds up, absolutely. Some smart people here. What else happens to it? Goes fast. Well, it speeds up, goes faster. That would be similar. <laughs> Uh, close. Uh, it goes faster, higher pressure, and greater energy, energies, energization, greater energy potential. Uh, you could say caused by the pressure and the speed, but deeper into it, there is more energy within that very same fluid as it goes through the venturi, not because of just the speed and the pressure. It is activated now. It is activated. Time-space works similar uh, to it. In, in a sense, it's like a, it's like a funnel. And out here, it's moving at a different rate, and it has a different energy pot attractant potential out here than it does here. Now, what would this be? This is the now moment. This is the past, and this would be the future. So this is past now and future. And that is, that is one of the principles of time-space movement through you. If you are present, if you are conscious of, of uh, not of time, but conscious of yourself, aware of your awareness, I exist. The flow rate of time-space is different, not necessarily faster, though. As a matter of fact, you're going to begin to understand it actually appears to go slower. 
It actually doesn't. Everything else goes slower. But uh, the perception is that things slow down. When you're in the now moment, uh, the flow of time space is more harmonious. It is more compatible. It is more serving to you than when you're hanging out in the past uh, or, or hanging out in the future. That's uh, the reasons, uh, physics reason for being in the now, not just it's nice airy-fairy, but it has a dramatic effect on, on you, on you. Let's take a moment and go back to the principle. Where is my ball? Uh, yes. The ball actually did not move. Weird. But it didn't. Time-space moved. And when I throw that ball, when I toss it in the air, time-space is moving and it's creating gravity, a suction that will hold in physical matter, emotional matter, belief matter. And it creates reality. That is beautiful. Just the ability for you as consciousness to have this happen, when consciousness doesn't have arms and legs or a brain or eyes, for you to have this happen as a result of your consciousness is truly amazing. Truly amazing. And when you can also learn to step out of mass consciousness time-space into your own time-space. When you can learn that you're no longer dependent on the, um, the other drawing, wherever that, the other drawing, when you're no longer dependent on time-space God, that you are truly a sovereign being with their own bond, with their own plasma, with their own everything, then you are free. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What I'd like to do at this point now is stop talking about it and start to experience it. So I'm, I'm going to footnote this by saying some of you uh, have really been feeling strange the last couple of days and weird dreams. And I believe even before the gathering here, some of the staff was talking about uh, the distortion of time. I believe there was a conversation back over here that isn't time weird the last day or two? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to find that time and space start to loosen up. Uh, it starts to become more flexible, but that's not always a comfortable feeling at first. When your body has been regulated to staying in the uh, old belief of time and space, the old movement of it, when you get out of that, it is going to feel strange. Disorientation, uh, weird brains, and, and particularly weird dreams. 